My name is Kyle Stevens. I'm the president and co-founder of Craft Beverage Warehouse in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, so I started my career in public accounting, uh, doing tax and audit at a small firm in Milwaukee called Scribner Conan Company. Big part of that was working with small businesses, mostly family held businesses. Uh, and I was really interested in doing that because uh, growing up, my family had a small manufacturing business. Uh, they sold it when I was in college. Uh, none of us cousins were interested in, in taking on the business. So, and our, our parents wanted an exit. Um, but I was interested in working with those types of companies. So I, I mean, I was able to work with companies in all different industries, get a ton of experience understanding how they run their businesses, helping them with audits, taxes, financial statements and stuff like that. Uh, after six years there, I moved on to work in mergers and acquisitions at Grant Thornton LLP. The reason I decided to go to a, a little bit larger firm and work in transaction services or, or mergers and acquisitions is a different way to say it, um, is I wanted to learn how growing companies or family held companies exit. Um, and by doing that, I got to fly around the country and work on a lot of, a lot of different deals uh, and learn from controllers, CFOs, CEOs, what they did to get their business to a point of, okay, either I, I wanna retire, so I wanna sell my business, or I can't take it any further, so I need to sell it to somebody who can take it to the next level. I learned so much doing that. I, I mean, I think I, I worked on 20 deals a year or something, um, which is an insane amount. When you think about like how quickly those projects move. Um, from there, I had an opportunity to go work uh, for Good City Brewing in Milwaukee. A couple of buddies opened a brewery, and after a few years, they needed somebody to help get them and keep them organized. Uh, and uh, an accountant is a perfect person to do that. Uh, and then as a pandemic response, uh, a friend of mine and I started uh, a beverage packaging wholesale company. Our friends in the brewing industry couldn't get cans during the pandemic because uh, bars and tap rooms and restaurants couldn't serve draft beer. Everything went into a can. Uh, supply chain was completely broken, but we had access to cans uh, through a relationship I had at, a, at the can manufacturer. So we just warehoused and bought a bunch of cans and sold them by the pallet to our customers. Uh, so recently we made a huge investment in digital print technology. So now we're doing direct to can digital printing uh, for the craft beverage industry. 80% uh, of our customers are craft breweries. I wouldn't have been able to start my own business if I weren't a CPA. The biggest thing is I don't have to pay consultants to do my books or hire you know, a high level experienced person to help me with financial decisions. Uh, but also just going out and getting investors and loans. So we had to raise investor capital. We had to get a loan uh, to leverage uh, our investment in this digital printing technology. Uh, so I already have a network as a CPA of bankers, uh, potential investors, and they trust my numbers when I put together a projection or how I think that business is gonna go in the future. So uh, when I was working at Good City Brewing, uh, I was in charge of finance and accounting, HR, but then also I took on procurement. So I would buy packaging materials, raw materials, which would be like malt and hops and yeast and stuff like that. Um, and I just, I had so many different vendors and it took so much time to, you know, call up or email and buy everything, send out POs. And especially in the packaging area, I didn't think it made sense. We were buying such small quantities that it didn't make sense to have three or four different vendors just for these three or four different items that we need to put a liquid in. Um, so that's where Craft Beverage, not only being a pandemic response to helping solve the supply chain issue, uh, it was trying to make a one-stop shop for people that were in the position I was most recently in. Also on the sustainability side, we, we just saw a broken system of uh, options for small beverage producers. So, they can't go to the can manufacturer and, and buy that can printed at the facility that that can is made because you need to buy a million at a time. Okay, you're going to start small. So you're going to order 10,000. And a lot of times they put these plastic shrink sleeves over the can. And what that does, especially in metropolitan areas, is that renders that can not recyclable anymore. So if consumers aren't taking that plastic sleeve off the can, this endlessly recyclable product that, I mean, we're using cans for a reason because we go, we melt them, and then they get made into cans again or something else, aluminum. And uh, it, it just seems so broken to me. So what we do with our direct-to-can digital printing is we maintain the recyclability of that can. 
Um, sustainability is core, and we try to take that through our whole business, selling you know corrugate, um, corrugate products, and uh, PCR. The plastic that we that we do sell is the um, plastic can carriers, 100% recyclable. We run a program where our customers can return them to us and just keep that cycle going. Um, so it's core to our business, and it's really one of the biggest reasons we started it as well.